Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video we are going to be styling some parachute pants that I have just picked up. If I'm not wearing cargos or joggers then I'm wearing parachute pants. I absolutely just love the whole vibe and I mean they are kind of similar to cargos. You can get like cargo parachute pants. So let's begin. So I'm going to start with the cheapest actually. These were from Primark. These were £22. Um, usually I don't really shop in Primark too much but when I see things like on TikTok that someone's recommended then I go in and have a look. Um, so yeah, these were £22, which is actually really cheap for parachute pants. I feel like nowadays parachute pants can cost like anywhere between like 35-ish to 50. Um, I don't really like paying 50 pounds, especially for this kind of material, um, because I just feel like it's a con. Like parachute pants are supposed to have that vibe where they kind of look like just like bin bags, like cheap pieces of material that are just baggy. These are like a shell material. Um, what I do really like about them though is the toggles. They've got toggles at the bottom and they do have toggles at the top as well. If you kind of want to make it smaller or bigger um, and they do also come with a zip as well but I feel like because they're elasticated at the top you don't need to bother with that. I did pick these up in a size 12 usually I'd go for a 10 but I thought you know what they didn't look that baggy when I saw them and um, so I did want them a little bit bigger so I just went one size up which was a size 12 and um, but again these are kind of I always say this with parachute pads I feel like they're very generic the kind of sizes because no matter how big or small you are you can kind of just adjust them and they are elasticated as well. Now compared to other the parachute pants cargoes I picked up previously these for me are like a kind of more fitted parachute pant now one thing I wasn't keen about is these do not have pockets which is really annoying I just like to be able to put my hands into pockets and um, they do have pockets to be fair on the kind of lower down as you can see and um, they have a pocket on each side which I do really really like I feel like that kind of gives it a cargo vibe and um, I think the main point for these though is that they do look good and they are very very reasonable price and if you did want something you know not too baggy then I feel like these are absolutely perfect. My next parachute pants I actually picked up from Zara, which I absolutely love this pair. So as you can see, this is a different material. This is more of a cotton material. They definitely feel smoother. I actually went for a dark gray. They do do these in black, but I actually just really, really liked this color. And I have so many black clothes. I thought, you know what? Let's go for something that's not black, which is basically black. But anyway, the color is really, really nice. And I like that it is not black, but it is black at the same time. So of course it's going to go with so much as well. Um, so these came in at £32.99, so they are more expensive. But I still feel like, and considering the Zara, it's not too bad. These are made out of cotton, so I guess it explains why they feel a lot softer. And um, they also have the toggle on the top and elasticated waist. They don't have a zip or a button, um, but I feel like, as I said before, it's not really needed with elasticated waist. I actually went for a size medium in this, which is my normal size that I get in trousers from Zara, um, and they fit absolutely absolutely fine um pocket wise they do have pockets which i love because i can put my hands in and they also have back pockets on the bum as well which is nice feature as well they don't have any other pockets on the actual leg um, and then towards the bottom as well you do have toggle one thing I like about these is that they are a lot baggier but again you can kind of cinch them in at the waist so they're high waisted um, which is really nice I feel like for me this pair is kind of in the middle of a tighter fitting parachute pants like the Primark ones and then I'm going to show you another one which is a bit baggy I feel like this is the right amount of bagginess but also you've got that high waisted tight element as well um, which is absolutely perfect but it depends obviously what you guys are looking for whether you want something a little bit more baggy or something a little bit fitted um but if you're gonna start off with maybe your first parachute pant then i would definitely recommend this because i do feel like if you do want to you know lower sitting on your hips you can just wear them lower down but obviously if you want them higher you can and then you can just pull the toggle um to tighten them my last pair of trousers is from stradivarius now if i was to think of a parachute pant in general then these are the ones that would come to my mind this kind of style i'll show you guys what i'm talking about but these are kind of like the baggy low-waisted ones i did a video a while back a months ago on some cargo parachute pants that I picked up back then um, and that did include the jaded pair now the jaded pair I think are about 60 pounds maybe 50 60 pounds so they're quite expensive so I was really really happy to get this pair because this pair was 35.99 so quite a bit of a price difference and I feel like they are literally guys exactly the same this would definitely be a good pair if you did want this kind of vibe so as you can see instead of the toggle on the front we have them at the side look how big they are I definitely feel like there is so much more 
small room and that is because they are baggier and these I guess are supposed to kind of sit on your hips instead of your waist so I do feel like they're not really that high waisted because the more you put them high waisted I feel like you know this bit's gonna go up so i a camel toe i like wearing like oversized t-shirts oversized hoodies to go with this kind of vibe because then the whole fit is just oversized bagginess which is right up my street and um, so it doesn't actually really matter to me where they kind of sit on my waist as long as that you know they're not actually falling down and they're not too tight i feel like it doesn't matter because i'll be wearing something oversized anyway and um, so i got these in the color charcoal which is again in this kind of color of dark gray again for a similar reason because I feel like black i've just got so much black um and i did really like the color dark gray as you will notice these are a lot bigger as well than my previous two but again we've got the similar toggle at the bottom so if you did want to wear it like that or you did want to wear it tighter more like a jogger kind of vibe you can definitely tighten them i definitely like wearing mine as baggy as possible and um, pocket wise they do have pockets Woo! and they do have pockets on the back as well they don't have any pockets on the leg it's literally just the sides and the back again these are in a cotton material one thing i like about these is that you can probably just put them in the wash and then when they're done you don't need to iron them i mean i stopped ironing years ago but anything that i can buy that i don't need to iron is always a bonus they don't feel as soft as the zara ones but they are still pretty soft i feel like no matter what gender you are everybody should have at least one pair of parachute pants in their wardrobe for me they are a staple crucial piece of my wardrobe if you are interested in any of the parachute pants that i've got today i will put the link for them down below thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys next time